Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine. And as you guys know, I rarely make um, videos consecutively like um, that soon, usually just one or two videos a month. But then, um, just just now only, uh, when I check my Facebook, and yes, Bandai China have taken action against Dragon Momoko. So, um, first first thing I would like to tell you guys is that if you guys have pre-ordered um, from your supplier for Dragon Momoko Blue Frame D, or any um, pre-order payment that you've made to pre-order um, Dragon Momoko's um, stock, um, you guys better go and tell your supplier to get your refund if they ask you to deposit any. And then, second thing is that this video will be split into two parts. So, of course, the video first will look at um, this letter that was issued by Bandai China. Uh, there are a total of um, four paragraphs. So, although my, my Mandarin is not that great, but it's understandable up to a certain point. So, I do my best to debrief everyone uh, about what it is said in this uh, letter. And then, of course, the second part, if you guys want to stay and hear about my thoughts on this, then, yeah, you guys can stay on. So, yeah, without further ado now, let me go and just split the picture here into several parts, then I'll get back to you guys. So, um, the very first paragraph here, which I cropped out here, it says that uh, recently, um, Bandai, um, basically in Bandai, China, they have, I think they have a meeting or something like that with a couple of uh, representatives in the China top people. And then they say they are t they were discussing about the brand Dragon Momoko in the China market, and then they say that um, they decided to press charges against uh, Dragon Momoko in the name in the in the name of um, copy and infringement, which of if um, in a way it is copying from Bandai. And then that said that and they decided to sue them and want the responsible responsible party to be um, charged and if you guys remember in the 2017 uh september when they said that um their factory was being raided there are several pictures that were shown on the internet it is true it is not what they claim to be as the lunar new year preparation is actually um after the rip uh how the suit after bandai made the claim to sue Dragon Momoko, it was it was really raided by the authorities, and they've said that during that that uh, that time, the twenty seventeen September, uh, they have uh, taken in lots of stocks from Dragon Momoko, and they have also uh, took in the factory manager, uh, Fu Zheren means the one who is managing the factory. They have taken him in, and they have really put up to the Shanghai court there to for further proceedings so basically this is the whole first paragraph and now we'll look at the sh second paragraph so basically um, these two paragraphs is pretty short so I've decided to just make these two paragraphs together and so the second paragraph here it says that um, the police have went to the factory to check and they've um, took in a lot of stocks in the factory so I mean that's pretty obvious it's Jacob Moko factory so that second paragraph that and then the third paragraph it's basically um Bandai talking about uh the effect of it. Um Bandai said that recently um in China in China and other countries they've uh, realized that there are there are too uh, too many too much um too many amount that was put into the market by be it um our suppliers um taking stocks in and also says that the design of the kit and also says that um it says the design of the kit is pretty similar the design i mean be it the box art and the kit is pretty similar to our products i mean the bro and of course it says that um it is badly damaging the reputation of bandai because they said that yeah basically it's just talking about um, damaging the reputation of Bandai. So basically, these two paragraphs is that simple. So now we move on to the final paragraph, which is pretty long. So basically, the last paragraph is Bandai said that they are very thankful for the police for um, helping them in doing in following this procedure, and they say they will follow the China uh, laws and regulation to press charges against the responsible party, and that would be Dragon Momoko, and, um, and then. That's it, and then the 
second second part of that it says that um to in order f- in order for us consumer to enjoy the product better services and of course protecting the reputation of Bandai we will continue to um crack down on this China's company and also says that um whenever they will whenever they find out about any similar companies that's producing um Bandai knockoff they will go on and press charges press charges against this company that's copying uh that's copying their kids and damaging their reputation so yeah basically um that's really it for this whole statement about the whole dragon momoko situation so here are some of the pictures that was the pictures that was taken um during the raid at the dragon momoko factory so yeah i mean if you guys still have dragon momoko kits i would recommend you guys not to sell it keep it instead because dragon momoko now will be rare so but nonetheless i hope hope that um dragon momoko will come back stronger in another company and better maybe regulate itself so yeah now um the whole the this um notice have been um the brief or debrief to you guys so if you guys still want to stay on to know what is my reaction to this then yeah stay tuned to that or else thank you for watching so now let's proceed on to my sort of um reaction um so what is my reaction to this news um firstly dragon momoko is actually a small company that when i first got, um noticed about dragon momoko it was back in 2012 and even then they've already released um some kids back in trend as early as if i'm not mistaken 2010 where they released some high grade um the h1 h titles the high grade as well as they released the dev scythe dev scythe the tv version as well as the dev scythe hell which is the almost the same as the bandai version and after that in 2012 or 2013 they released the strike metal build version and that was the time when i really went to um to know um dragon momoko as a really great company a company that promotes um, innovation on themselves rather than directly copying bandai which I'm really which I was really happy for that and especially the fraction of price that I get from it. But then now Dragon Momo, I mean now Bandai decided to take action. Um if you if you talk about in terms of uh, conscious or I mean if you are a person who hates bootleg, hates China for copying stuff, then of course it's a huge victory for you and of course it's a huge victory for Bandai as well because it's very important to protect your intellectual property. And as well as your design, the design that um, your team put into it, the amount of hours and effort in designing Gunpla and have um, the Gundam series going. Because without that, there there is no Gundam at all. And knowing that there are p- actually people copying out your effort, of course you'll be angry. So it's natural that someone would be angry in in companies. But but the thing is, Bandai Bandai's approach in understanding the market i don't think that's great at all i mean you've been releasing kids i mean i'm happy for that but the kids that you're releasing is basically p bandai's on and on again and especially the newest releases which is the gundam endless walls the kids basically you're just bringing the master grade basically the normal master grade the tv version into the endless Worlds version especially the the one that i'm really angry about is the heavy arms i mean you can just change the color scheme for us i don't mind if you charge charge us slightly more than the normal price that you are charging for the heavy arms because the of course you need to change the color scheme you need to change the the gatling gun as well but you make it into p bandai like how the hell is people supposed to buy i mean i'm i'm not rich i i can gladly say i'm not rich i'm i, w- I would even say i would i'm proud that i'm not rich I mean, some of you, uh, some of you Bandai supporters will of course say, if you are not rich, then don't go and buy kids or even save money to buy kids. But the thing is, you don't understand. It's, it's our own money, you know. We are earning our own money to enjoy this hobby and all. And for us to be able to 
have some normal kids to enjoy that's a uh, really privilege for us really because not all of us can enjoy that then now Bandai decided to take action and I think that's really unfair it, I mean yes Gundam itself the whole Gundam thing you are you are I mean you have the rights to own it but like the Metal Build Destiny Gundam uh, you I mean yes you are starting to have release Freedom 2.0 um, the what you call that the latest Providence um, those sort of Gundam you are trying to um, re-release but then Destiny Gundam Metal Build version that's like and that's not even basically your Gunpla line is in another line I think if I'm not mistaken correct me if I'm wrong that thing costs around like what 1000 plus uh, 1000 plus ringgit I mean in my country 1000 plus ringgit but Dragon Ball Co is only selling of what 10% of that 10% of 1000 that's 100 plus that's accessible to everyone who wants to own a uh, Metal Build version um, Destiny I mean like how I mean 1000 ringgit equivalent to almost like 100 you can buy okay not 100 you can buy 10 non grades Gunpla so that's like what I mean I really uh, kind of lots of words because um, losing a great brand such as Dragon Momoko it's really sad I would say because Dragon Momoko really has really have helped a lot of people in terms of getting the kits that they want especially um, they are starting to get into Metal Build versions so that's really great but again like I say now they have taken action um, I think they did not I think they just want to totally um, be the guy who controls the whole Gunpla market like I mean if you at least were to license out your design to maybe Dragon Momoko and Dragon Momoko pays you um, a couple of fees to use that design I think that's fine but if you completely shut down a company have you ever thought about the consumers um, consumers feelings like um, I know there are lots of Philippines that uh, love Gunpla but couldn't enjoy the uh, cannot enjoy building Gunpla or buying it but because of these brands Dragon Moko coming out that we are able to enjoy but um, again now that I talk about Philippines I think it gets to my attention is that I remember there was once is that there was this I, I, I think I would just call him an idiot when he participated in the GBWC Philippines he used the God Gundam which is Bandai and he used Dragon Momoko's um, Strike Gundam legs to participate I think I think that was the one that triggered Bandai to take action against, against Dragon Momoko and of course there are a couple of idiots who brought the I do, I, it's part of the Dragon Momoko box to GBWC and take photo of it again I think that's really retarded you are, you are just making a fool of yourself and now maybe because of your actions that results in this where Bandai decided to take action against all these brands that Bandai might have kept quiet if it's not like if we did not do all this stupid stuff like participate but like participating in Bandai events using Dragon Momoko kits that's really retarded I, and now I think about it and now I really think about it I think that's really like the cause of it that uh that uh, really triggered Bandai to take action against this company I mean if it's really your thoughts there congrats to their three idiots right I think that's three, that three idiots I think congrats to three of you you have just ruined everything I'm not blaming um, I'm not blaming the country Philippine I'm blaming that three individuals that uh, that do it so yeah I think that's really I think and of course now Dr Dragon Momoko um, it's gone they're good all the suppliers are definitely going to inflate all the prices for the kits so if you guys still have it go and buy from all your suppliers before they inflate the prices and of course now again it also affects my content my content uh, as a gun as a gundam creator gunpla kits reviewer now that i don't have um Joko Momoko to support i've lost one brand to review and i think that's pretty bad so the only brand right now that I have is Tapan and Tapan, Tapan is the only companies that directly copy Bandai so I don't understand as well if you want to take action like really want to, if you're really if Bandai is really committed into taking action against ki um, companies that are directly copying their kids 
why not they go and start with Tapan? I mean, Tapan is exactly cop- copying your company's product, but you rather chose Dragon Momoko when Dragon Momoko only released like a handful of product that's directly copying yours. I would say they are DevScythe, DevScythe, the DevScythe Hell TV version, DevScythe Hell. And not I'm I'm not referring the newest Dev Scythe Hell that was released by Dragon Ball. I was talking about previously back in twenty eleven those kind. Yeah, I think these two, and then of course maybe you would say Destiny and your Strike Freedom, but the Strike Testament, and even the what is that called the Perfect Grade, the Perfect Grade, and of course the Akasuki that those those kind that did not even directly copy from Bandai Dragon Ball actually innovate themselves to come up with their own version of it and when they release the M- the Hyakushiki 2.0 that gold scheme that gold color the, that thing that was sprayed on it's almost as if Dragon Momoko uh, it, it's almost as if Bandai used Dragon Momoko method of the gold in the Akasuki to put on their Hyakushiki so again it's really crazy like how I don't know what's Bandai really thinking maybe because Dragon Momoko is is the one that's making the most money compared to Tapan, so that's why they decided to put on and attack the most revenue generated company first instead of the others. But again, I don't know. Um, it's a really sad day for us who enjoys building um bullet kits because not like all of us have the money, like I say, to purchase Bandai kits. So yeah, I mean, it's it's really 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 sad for us. I would say, I mean, if um, Bandai, um, lawyer Bandai supporters, it's a great win for all of you. For that, I congratulate, congratulate for you guys. So yeah, but nonetheless, it, I like I always say, if there's no Bandai, there's no Dragon Momoko, there's no Tapan. So yeah, maybe um, I would have less content to push out now, and rather maybe more figure reviews from now on, rather than Gunpla. Hopefully, I'm... In, in all fairness, if there's, it's because of these companies that push Bandai to um, have to innovate themselves, like release IBO, because the other kits, they are too expensive for us. So yeah, again, um, I think it's not fair, uh, to be very honest. I think if Dragon Mobile were to pay compensation in, in any other sorts of way, I think that would be better. Because it promotes fair competition. Although Dragon Momoko do copy some of your base design of the kit. But like I said, but, uh, Dragon Momoko actually have their own innovate stuff to... I mean they have their own... They did their own skills of innovating the kits into their own image of the kit. Which I think that's really great. Which not many um, Bandai... I mean not many companies does that. So yeah, I guess that's uh, really it for my ranting or my opinion, I would say. Uh, so yeah, again, I hope you guys have a good day. And of course, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon for my next review.